Welcome everybody back to Sozen's Gadgets. Today I'm checking out a brand new budget soundbar from Tribit. Their new BTS 60 soundbar. This is a really inexpensive soundbar and today's review is just going to be about an inexpensive soundbar experience. We're not going to try to compare this to like a Bose 900 top of the line soundbar, just a sub or about a hundred dollar soundbar. Now if you're looking to upgrade your TV's sound on a budget, that's what I'm talking about here, about a hundred bucks. Or maybe even for your kid's gaming room, it's a really relatively inexpensive option. Could also be good for something like, say, your bedroom, sound upgrade in your bedroom. So carry on if that's what you're looking for. But like I said, if you're looking for something just like a cheaper alternative to like a Bose 900 soundbar, stop, move on. This isn't the product for you. Tribit's soundbar is a good looking soundbar. It's really low profile and it's likely to sit right underneath the infrared sensors of your TV. It's really tidy looking. Now the readout on it is very large, it's clear, and the brightness of that readout is really bright enough for a large room even. And after a few minutes, the brightness uh, kind of dims out, so it's not as noticeable. It never goes out completely, but compared to how bright TVs are, especially all the TVs that I have, the brightness shouldn't really be a factor. It should just blend into the background just fine. If it really bothers you, you can always just cover it up with a piece of paper or cardstock or something. Or you can wall mount it with the included brackets. I think that's a pretty nice touch at this price point to have a product that you could mount easily to the wall if that's the way your TV is set up. And the BTS60 has plenty of inputs. It's got an HDMI that supports ARC. It's got uh, optical input. It's got auxiliary input. It's got USB and Bluetooth 5.0 inputs. The setup on this thing is a snap. You connect the power cord. You connect the included HDMI cable to your TV's ARC output, and that's it. You're set. You don't have to reprogram your TV's remote control. You just turn on your TV, set the soundbar to the HDMI input, you set the EQ mode of your choice, and put the remote for the Tribit soundbar away. Your TV remote's going to do everything else. It's going to control the volume, and it's going to control the power without doing anything to your TV's remote. That's pretty simple. Now, if you were to choose to use the optical input from your TV's optical out to the Tribit's input for optical, you're also going to have a cable included for that. You're going to have a cable included for that. However, you may have to set your TV's audio output. Maybe. It may or may not be necessary. It could be automatic and could work just fine. But one thing that you will have to do is use your remote control to control the volume from the Tribit and not from your TV's remote, unless you can reprogram your TV's remote to control the Tribit. Which I think, Tribit being new to this field, it could be a your match may vary whether or not you can find a code that actually works for the Tribit. In my opinion, stick with the HDMI option. It's so simple, you'll have no regrets using that option. You're gonna set it up in five to 10 minutes and be on your way. And when I did fire this up, I put on Amazon Prime's Wheel of Time and I was blown away when I first turned on it. I was like, wait a minute, what is playing here? Is it in my actual sound system or is it just this sound bar? Like the immersion experience for special effects in movie mode, movie mode being one of the four included EQ modes that the Tribit supports. The others are music, game, and news. News, by the way, could be called AM radio from the 70s. I mean, it's really gonna block out a lot of sound and leave you with just, just, voices and if you ever listen to an old am radio you'll know exactly what you're going to get with news mode i guess it has a place for some people i didn't prefer it music mode is pretty good like low processing gives you that stereo sound i would probably use that for podcasts and anything that i wanted to focus more on treble than bass and it definitely keeps vocals well in the foreground it actually sounded good for movies, uh, uh, for movies and for music. Now back to movie mode, it processes surround information with like the utmost importance. I'm talking a huge uptick in background sound information. It's in your face huge. It's not subtle and it won't be to everyone's taste, but it's really convincing. Like I said, when I turned on Wheel of Time, I was like, what, what, where is this sound coming from? Like it's, like it's everywhere in a huge room. But where it falls short, is in some of the sophistication of that processing of details between what I would consider loud special effects scene and the subtle background noises that you might have 
behind, like say an intimate conversation. The trivet is always erring on the side of boosting the background sounds to present this kind of immersion experience. But for me, for a lot of the content, I found that game mode or even music mode was a, was a better experience for me in watching movies where I wanted to really focus on the dialogue more than the special effects. Now, I may be something of a perfectionist when it comes to my sound in my home system because, you know, for earbuds, I'm gonna spend 50 bucks for my home system. I'm spending a lot on sound for my home system from speakers to amplifiers to TVs. So I do have kind of a warped sense here. But listen, for a hundred bucks, where does this shine? Watching Matrix Resurrections on HBO Max just came out. I watched it, I'm like, wow, the vocals and special effects are brilliant on this thing. They're loud and realistic. And the vocals are really crisp and clear the way that they do this, even in movie mode. You're gonna think that this is way better than your TV, but you're never gonna get confused to think you're like in an Omnimax theater. And speaking of like Omnimax and how loud this thing could get, like it's got 100 watts of total output power, but that's across six speakers. So listen, that's like 16 to 17 watts per speaker. That is not an overpowering amount of power. It'll get the job done. And as far as the bass goes, it's got two three inch, what they call subwoofers, but in reality, they're just full range speakers, right? And let's face it, if you were gonna buy a dedicated subwoofer, anything you'd purchase would have eight inch woofers or larger. So what you're gonna get from these three inch woofers is bass that you hear, but you're never gonna feel it with this sound bar. And there's no subwoofer output on this sound bar either. So just know what you're buying here for a hundred bucks. Now, if you connect this speaker via Bluetooth, its music mode is again, I'll tell you, it's pretty decent. And it definitely saves you from having to buy another device in your room to play decent music. So you can have this sound bar for movies on your TV and music from your phone or your Bluetooth device. Pretty good. I appreciate that Bluetooth connection quite a bit. And I appreciate that the music EQ setting is fairly clean. So here are a few other things to note about the Tribit BTS-60. It has physical controls on the side of the speaker that control the volume, the power, the input mode, and the EQ mode. Let me sum up the Tribit BTS soundbar like this. At this price point, it's a decent sound upgrade for your home TV's speakers. Setup is super simple, and the wow factor for watching movies is real. And I think for your kids like watching or playing video games, they're gonna love the upgrade that this soundbar would give them. It does have some downsides that would likely make me stretch my budget for something probably quite a bit more expensive for my main primary, you know, listening and movie watching experience. And that is that the amount of processing that movie mode gives you is very high. It makes dialogue sound just a little bit odd at times, especially in those quiet scenes where it's just trying too hard to process background information that probably shouldn't be so up and in your face. I'd recommend Tribit lower the movie modes processing somewhat. And if you're buying one of these, what I would recommend is use movie, movie mode as appropriate, but I definitely recommend switching the mode to be appropriate for the source material that you're watching with game mode and music modes featuring decent sound without too much processing of that background and surround information. Now the rest of my wish list would undoubtedly raise the price of the Tribit BTS 60. But hey, it's Christmas and wish lists are the order of the day, right? <laughs> okay, so let's check it out. Number one, it would be nice and subtle and I don't think too expensive if they just make the front light readout in addition to dimming after a minute, just completely shut off after a few minutes. We don't need it on there and it could be a little bit distracting for people. I would like to see them have an EQ mode which did almost no processing at all now maybe that's what music mode does and they're not calling it that, but I think it would be nice to have a mode, a mode that was like a pure direct stereo mode. The next thing I'd like to see is a little bit more granularity in the volume increments because sometimes I felt like I was listening to this on volume four and it was too soft, but on volume five, it was pretty loud. And I felt that that was really amplified when I was connect connected through HDMI arc mode where each volume increment was like, a, which was huge in my opinion. The next thing and probably the last thing which would be probably expensive would be that if they'd have some kind of volume output leveling or suppression that would allow me to use this soundbar for late night theater without like a massive volume fluctuation between dialogue scenes and special effects scenes. Like explosions are super loud 
and dialogue is much quieter. And then you'd see this as well on those obnoxious television channels that just totally overboost commercials from the normal content. This soundbar will pick up on that and it won't do anything to suppress that horrible obnoxious experience. But that's a wrap of the Tribit BTS 60 soundbar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.